Only in the south will you find Brass Town Bald, the highest mountain peak in the state of Georgia. Today, I'm going to Brass Town Bald, which is the highest mountaintop in the state of Georgia. But first, breakfast. And what better place to go for breakfast but in Blairsville, Georgia, this little hole in the wall spot, specifically called Hole in the Wall. I actually wrote a book on this restaurant, The Legend of the Hole in the Wall in Blairsville, Georgia, by Loretta Pistol Durden. My goodness. You know the restaurant's awesome when they have a book about it. I mean, goodness gracious. Now, if you're going to Brasstown Bald, the area around Brasstown Bald, you only have a few options to eat, and one of them is going to Blairsville, and I highly recommend eating at Hole in the Wall. Highly recommend it. Amazing biscuits and gravy. This is to die for, seriously. The Moonshiner is what I got. Goodness gracious. My God. I made it to the parking lot of Brasstown Bald. We're gonna hike up there. So it's a nice little 0.6 mile hike here to up there to the, the top point. Start the journey here. All right, 0.6 is really not that bad. You know, you know, a little over half a mile. But if you're not in shape, don't recommend it because it's a pretty steep grade. It's a really steep grade getting here. Uh, most of the incline to Brasstown Ball at the top is the is the incline to get, you know, to the very to the top where you park and then walk. And it's pretty steep. So I was trying to focus on driving as much as I could. So I mean it really is just gorgeous. I got my my breathing going here. It's a pretty it's a pretty good incline. I'll tell you that much right now. Pretty good incline. Coming around a curve here. Little rock formation right there. We'll put rocks. And here we go. We're crossing the road on the left. You can see the mountains before we cross the road. On the right of the road. Crossing the road now. All right, just a little bit longer. Cause I remember the last time I came up here, he crossed the road and then just a little bit more. Of course there's benches. If you need to take a break, I'm gonna try to do with that one. We'll see. There we go. We'll see a few more rocks here and there. Get closer. Closer to the prize at the end of the rope. We're getting closer. Got another, uh, got another bench right there. I'm gonna try really hard not to sit down. I don't suggest that for everyone. Here we come up to the top. On. The observation deck, no smoking, no smoking beyond this point. So if you smoke, make sure you let it go before here. All right, going up to the top now. Wind is just a blowing away. Caution, stairs slippery. Oh my god. Brasstown Bald rises 4,784 feet above sea level, and its peak looms half a mile above the surrounding valleys. The observation deck offers a breathtaking view of the mountain scenic vistas, which sweep across four different states. 
making it a popular visitor attraction in the North Georgia mountains. On clear days in late September and October, it's even possible to see the skyline of Atlanta. And that's crazy because that's about 80 miles away. Brasstown Bald experiences weather conditions different from the rest of the state of Georgia. Fog, mist, and storms may unexpectedly move in and obscure the view. These weather conditions help to contribute to the variety of plants and wildlife found on the forested slopes of Brasstown Bald Mountain. The Chattahoochee Oconee National Forest website offers two webcams where one can check the current weather and visibility at Brasstown Bald Visitor Center. Because of height, Brasstown Bald also experiences temperatures on average 5 to 10 degrees cooler than the surrounding areas. Brasstown Bald is a great place to visit during hot summer days as temperatures have never exceeded 84 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason it's called Brasstown Bald is because it's a 360 degree unobstructed view from the top. This is amazing. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more videos about the South.